Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Great. So then when we say that there is this uh, flop edge or something like that, huh? Uh, then do you realize that we are also talking about uh, some sampling that is happening? When we say a flip-flop is edge triggered, so at an edge, if a flop becomes transparent, what essentially we are saying is, it is sampling the data input at that edge, whether it is rising edge or falling edge, depending on my flip-flop design, I'm sampling it at that place. Am I right? Yes, sir. So if a, if a flip-flop, I say would sample, is a, it's a positive edge triggered flip-flop and it is sampling data at um, the rising edge of the clock. And then now let us consider a flip, a latch, a positive level triggered latch. What would be the sampling edge of a positive edge triggered latch? Where would it sample its data? Sir, positive level triggered latch. Positive level triggered latch. Where would a positive level triggered latch sample its data? Sir, it will be on the negative edge because after on the that, falling only the edge latch. Of the clock. Yes. Yes, on the falling edge of the clock because uh, it starts to become opaque after that. Okay. So now, uh, what is important to realize it that is that to be able to sample correctly there are some timings that need to be met. See, the delay, the delay, the kind of timing you already know, am I right? That uh, the input to output delay, propagation delay, contamination delay, all these timings we've already discussed in much detail when we started with the combinational circuits. In fact, much earlier with the logical effort stuff. You remember that? Yes, sir. Now, when it comes to flip-flops and latches, we also have this additional feature of a sampling edge. And in com in, with respect to this sampling edge, there needs to be some timings that need to be designed, that need to be taken care of, okay? So today we will look at these timing parameters and how they need to be qualified when we design our systems, okay? So this is a latch. A latch would have one timing which is linked to minimum pulse width. Hmm? Then just abhi humne baat kari that at the falling edge of the clock, there will be a sampling, like the falling edge of the clock is the sampling edge. So we have hold and setup time definitions at the falling edge of the clock. So what does hold time mean? And what does setup time mean? The minimum amount of time for which the data has to be held at the deep end of the latch after the sampling has arrived, that is the hold time. And before, uh, so it should settle before setup time at the deep end. Yeah. So is, is, is this definition clear? Uh, this sir? is almost the exact definition. Sir, so, yes, why is the, so why is the sampling edge this, uh, I'm not able to get the sampling edge thing uh, in this for the latch. Okay. So abhi humne, we started with this thing that if it's a positive level triggered latch, then during the positive pulse period, uh, it will be transparent. Yes, sir. During the negative pulse period, it will be opaque. Yes, yes, sir. It's... So when it goes opaque, what is it sampling? What is it showing as the output? Uh, what it has sampled in the positive period of the clock period. So it may have sampled multiple rise and falls, but what will it show in the, in the low period? Uh, so by sampling, you mean just transparent. So for right? example, if it was, D was like this. Okay. Huh, so the Q would have also have been like this. Yes, sir. Hana? So what did it sample and where did it sample it now? Uh, the last value, 
would have been it has sampled last value to ye hai has it sampled this Mm, so actually in this figure it is the same actually it is constant throughout the period the d mm -hmm. for no. the i have i have uh, look at the red curve that okay, i have okay 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 uh, so no it has it has not sampled it has sampled the red one the last red one it seems hmm. for the d so then what does it mean that whatever was valid at the falling edge of the clock that is what is sampled and maintained for the entire negative edge duration negative level duration am i right yes yes sir that is why we are calling this negative as as the sampling edge so by but sampling you just mean that it is uh, taking that value Yes, it will no longer accept any other changes. It has sampled it. Now it will hold it for the negative for the for the opaque duration. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, sir, like the last value that will be basically enlarged, finally enlarged, that becomes my sampling edge. So, see, uh, Raghav. till the time my data is changing and my clock is one yes, nothing sir. is getting latched yes latching yes. actually happens only on this edge in the low period when the system becomes opaque is it not sir yeah hmm. are you able to see this yes so that value it will be holding basically that is latch yeah whatever value it holds that is what the latch is otherwise so it's transparent so it is not a latch it is operating like a combination of circuit okay are you able to see this yes sir. so so we will be considering so therefore we say that falling edge is the sampling edge okay so sir we are considering that edge of the clock from where the latching operation basically begins that Yes, that's okay. That is the sampling edge because that is what latched down. Okay. Hmm? Okay, sir. So. Now the time, the duration for which the input, this data, should be stable before the sampling edge arrives, that time is referred to as setup time. Okay. And after the sampling edge has arrived, data needs to be held for some more time. that time is called the hold time are you able to see this uh sir so effectively can we say that uh, for both uh, the positive level triggered latch and the negative edge triggered flip flop the sampling uh, edge would be the same and the setup and hold time constraints would be the same positive level triggered latch and negative edge triggered flip flop yes sir हाँ मतलब वही तो दैट इज वट वी आर सेंग ना दैट फॉर अ पॉजिटिव लेवल ट्रिगर्ड लैच नेगेटिव एज ऑफ द क्लॉक इज द सैम्पलिंग एज एक्टली यस सो इज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर बिकॉज आई सी मेनी स्टूडेंट्स गेट कंफ्यूज यू नो वॉट एवर इज रिटर्न इन द बुक्स इज नॉट वेरी क्लियर वॉट एवर इज बींग टॉट इन मेनी कॉलेज अक्रॉस द कंट्री दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी जम्बल्ड अप so this concept should be actually very clear to all of you is this clear about the sampling edge okay. and that the setup and hold times are defined from the sampling edge is this part clear so please reiterate the definitions of a t hold and t setup so t setup is the minimum duration for which the inputs should be held stable before the sampling edge arrives yes sir p hold is the minimum duration for which the inputs should be again held stable after the sampling edge has arrived okay okay thank you okay raghav you have a question your hand is raised yes sir actually uh, can the sampling edge uh, with respect to this i am clear sir but for example when the clock period goes for when the clock becomes high for the first time so my latch is getting transparent from that moment on so in this case 
will I call this the falling edge of the clock only the sampling edge or both the rising and the falling one the sampling edge? I mean, because uh, how what what exactly do we mean by sampling? So actually, I mean, like, is it transparent when it becomes transparent or like that? That terminology is getting me confused. So what do you understand by sampling? We have looked at two or three examples just now. What yes, do sir. you capture about sam? What do you understand about sampling? So then I will correct that definition if there is something wrong. So to me, it seems that if the any changes in the input or the deep in, if it is if the if my flop is able to capture that, so that cross that thing that basically that that is called uh, to me sampling. That is no. to me sampling. Okay. Sampling edge. That is what my question is. What according to you is a sampling edge? Sampling to take sampling edge. Say you know these timings hold and set of timings are defined from the sampling edge. So what does sampling edge according to you? Sampling definition you are saying is fine. Okay. So what is sampling edge? So because uh, I am here to me, a uh, sampling edge should mean that from where the sampling is starting, phenomena starting or ending. I mean both should be considered as sampling edges. But here we are considering only the falling one as the sampling edge. Hmm. So that so, is my intuition. So. I mean, we're not saying falling one as a sampling edge. Okay. We are saying wherever the latching action now begins. Okay. That is the sampling edge, because now that value has been sampled and it will be held for a extended duration. Let the input change; it will not reflect on the output. Okay, sir. So for the clock, sir, only one edge would be the sampling edge in any for the latches will flop be in any case. Sequential elements would typically use one sampling edge only. One sampling edge only. Basically, from where the latching action begins, that is my sampling edge. Yes. Okay. So there are double edge triggered flip flops also over there. You will see. You know, when you look at the literature, you will find some reference to double edge triggered uh, flip flops. They are essentially uh, using both edges of the clock for sampling. So they are essentially giving half the pulse period for evaluations. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Gagandeep. Uh, sir, uh, sir, as we realize that the latching action takes place in the negative level of the clock, mm -hmm. then, uh, sir, I can really uh, make a clock. I, I can make a pulse generator rather than a clock, and it can behave like a flip flop. In in that case, very very small uh, spikes yes. of okay. clock. Those are called pulse latches. We'll look at them in a little while. Raghav, you have anything else to ask? Your hand is still raised. No, sir. Just load my hand. Thank you, sir. Okay. So now that we've looked at setup and hold timings, what do you think these timings, the TCP, CQ, and TCP, DQ represent? Clock to Q and data to Q delays. Data. Yes. So what we are saying is, if you take, if you look at it carefully, what we are saying is that if the data was already there and clock arrived later, then we are saying the timing is TCQ. And if the data change happens when the sampling, when the uh, when the sequence latch was still transparent, then the D2Q delay, uh, then the D2Q delay is called TDQ. Okay. Uh, so, yes. So here the D two Q. I think I'm able to get it. Why we are taking that? So, but why we are taking that clock to Q? I mean, because uh, if the data was already settled, for example, before the sampling edge came, suppose data was settled here, something like this. So what happens? The the latch will continue to be opaque in this duration because it is the falling it is the low level of the clock of the clock yes sir so once it starts to become transparent let's come to this edge now once it starts to become transparent after the clock edge comes when it starts to become transparent there will still be some delay when this data will start to be, become visible on the output Okay. 
So, so, but that like, delay uh, is called TCQ. This can be different from TDQ. That is why there are two different definitions. There are two different labels there. Okay. So, sir, like it is like uh, what edge, uh, what basically signal is kind of triggering my change in output. Yes. Sir, but for example, even for example, say D is causing some change or say clock is causing change, but I know the implementation of the flip-flop or the latches. Mm -hmm. It will be following the same path. So, okay. how can these two different be different delays be different then? I mean, so uh, are they really following the same path? So let us say this is D and uh, this is CK. And do you think it is following the same path? D is going from here. CK is going from here. Are you able to see this? So, but this clock to Q path actually is not the, uh, I mean, this is not the, some, I mean, in we, uh, we talk of the in propagation delay in terms of the signals, right? The input and the output. So yeah, so CK clock, is also one of the inputs to the latch, na? So, but there isn't like exactly a uh, exact path, I can say that between like clock to Y, D, CK. If there is a path from D to Q, then there is a path from CK to Q also. It is also a, a, a different path. That's a different path. That's it. Okay. Is it not? 